Hi guys, I am back and today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me because this is the first get ready with me I filmed since the new year. This is the first get ready with me of 2024 and I thought it would be fun to just chat about the break and everything like that and apply some makeup. So I'm going to start with my Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later primer. You're about to see a lot of Project Pan products because I'm going to be filming my 20 and 2024 project pan later today so that I need to get some more use on these products. My face is really red today so I'm going to go in with this EXA High Fidelity Color Corrector in the shade green. Um, this I was heavily influenced by Hannah Louise Poston um, and I think it's great. Honestly I had tried green color correctors from the drugstore in high school. They made my face look a little patchy so it would be like really green and then really red and other makeup wouldn't layer over it well with this one. It's a little green and then as I blend it out, it's got kind of a white base so I could 100% see someone with a deeper skin tone not liking this. I'll even take it like up under my eyes because I feel like it helps cancel out some of the purpley red tones and then I get really in there around my nose and I've been having this rash kind of on and off on my eyelids for a while now which has been really frustrating um and we can talk about that in a minute but yeah I just feel like it makes my whole face look a little more balanced do I look slightly green in real life? I feel like the camera is not picking it up very well. Yes, but it if I'm wearing it with concealer or with some other products, it looks good. And then if I wasn't going to be wearing foundation over it, I would mix it in with concealer or another product just to sheer it out just a little bit. I have also mixed it in with this Tarte Maracuja, Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation, and it looks great that way too. So it's a good product for just slight color correcting, but it's not like special effects makeup, which I feel like some color correctors are. Like the Maybelline ones that came in those clicky pens when I was like a senior in high school, so five or six years ago. Um, those looked real bad in my opinion. Some people were like, ooh, yay, color correctors, they're so good, it's so cheap, but like, I don't know, Maybelline I've never thought was like particularly cheap. I feel like $10 is still expensive for one product, like if you're gonna build your whole face, it's still kind of expensive when you think about it. And most importantly, I didn't think they were very good. I feel like they just exaggerated things and got really patchy. Solid, like, 2 out of 10. I also may have been using them wrong, um, but maybe, maybe it was user error. I mean, I was still learning. I am still learning different techniques and tips and tricks, so there's always a chance that it was user error. But going back to the new year, I took a break from filming, editing, uploading completely for about three weeks, um, which was so hectic. Um, I don't know how I managed to get my extra uploads in towards the end of December with that three week break, which was like the end of December, beginning of January. Um, and it was worth it. Like I, I always enjoy doing the extra uploads around Christmas because I feel like there's a lot of stuff to talk about. And most importantly, um, I like taking trips with my family. So I feel like the break was definitely worth it, but it definitely was hectic. And that is part of why I, um, missed a couple uploads in January just because when I got back 
I was so busy with other life things that I just did not have time to film. And that's okay. You know, I try not to put too much pressure on myself with this. This is just a hobby. I don't know what I want to do with my eyes yet, so that will definitely be fun. So taking that break was good, but I'm happy to be back. Um, and I've got a lot of series and things that I want to start in 2024. I've got a couple ideas planned for ways to engage more on my Instagram and ways to just expand, you know, keep learning, growing, all of that stuff make better thumbnails I feel like that thumbnails and my intro like my home YouTube channel page were two things that I really focused on in 2023 and now um, I'm trying to figure out ways to expand in 2024 as well and that kind of goes into like goals and resolutions and things like that and I feel like you know I've definitely had years where I try to set a bunch of goals and it's like oh I'm gonna read a hundred books and I'm gonna do xyz and I found that um as with all goal setting you know saying I'm gonna do x every day never works because then I miss a day and I feel bad and then I'm just like you know I can't go back and remember to do it or undo whatever circumstances made me not do the thing and so it just ends up kind of this spiral or even like X number of times a week. Like there are weeks where something's going on or I catch a cold and I'm not going to go to the gym because I personally, I mean, even if I don't feel too cruddy, I don't like going to the gym when I'm sick because I don't want to touch a bunch of equipment and then get other other people sick. I want to like limit the amount of humans who I interact with as much as possible even like my roommate and I will kind of like socially isolate from one another so I don't go to the gym I don't do normal activities because I don't want to get others ill and I can't I have no control over that I can eat really healthily and wash my hands and avoid touching my eyes nose and mouth um when in public spaces and do all of those things but that won't 100% keep me from catching a cold especially since I'm on planes so much and at the end of the day like I just want to like give myself grace so that's a really long way of saying that for 2024 I have some goals that are just kind of continuations of previous goals like I would like to hit a certain number of subscribers. So this past year, my goal was 250 subscribers. Um, and then the year before that, I think was like 200, but I missed it. I didn't hit 200 subscribers. Um, I hit like 170. So this year, I think I wrote down 400 just to kind of try and push myself. I would like to continue with the work that I've been putting into exercising, eating healthy, building healthy habits, and I've included um, other things in that, like being better about going to the dentist, kind of building on all healthy habits, um, as I talked about, continuing to put work into my channel, um, continuing to put a lot of effort into my job, and um, there's a couple other things like I really want to and I'm going to I'm all signed up to run in the Miss Los Angeles, uh, Culver City, Woodland Hills and San Fernando Valley Miss America local program. Um, I did Miss Sonoma County's Outstanding Teen when I was a junior in high school. And as much as this may sound silly, I really think that in a way it got me where I am today because there was interview practice every single week so we practiced like all of January and February so two months every Sunday um and we 
learned opening number, we learned all the walking formations, we practiced talent, we did all of that stuff, practiced the fitness routine, and then we would do interview practice for like an hour or two every single week. And so that really helped me with my interview skills because I was a junior in high school. I didn't know how to interview for things. And then I lost. <laughs> a few months later, I was told about an opportunity for a engineering internship, like a high school engineering internship at a local company. And I was like, oh, sure, why not? I like math. I like science. And that's literally the company I work for today. Like it helped me. It made me realize that there was this whole like world of engineering that I had never even considered before. I didn't really understand what an engineer did before then um, in just working in medical technology. And it helped me pick my major. Um, that internship, I talked to a lot of people about what schools they went to and what they liked and didn't like about them. And it made me consider the school that I ended up going to for university. And most importantly, um, it just helped me gain a set of confidence that I think I didn't have beforehand. I know that sounds silly because, you know, beauty pageants, I think people associate with making women feel bad about themselves and their bodies, but it helped me feel really just so beautiful. I felt like a princess regardless of winning, losing. I felt so, I thought it was so much fun. The other girls who I did it with were delightful. Um, the previous, so the title holder when we were practicing, so the previous year's title holder, um, she was so nice. All of the girls were just so lovely and I, I did, I didn't make like lifelong friends. I'm not really close with any of them anymore, but I did make friends and um, meeting new people was always really fun. So that's kind of what my goal is for this year. I want to run in the local program for where I live now. I don't even know. I don't think, I don't have any hopes or like specific goals. I just want to make friends and do my best and pick up some new skills along the way. So that's one of my goals for 2024. I really don't know what I want to do on my eyes. I've been doing this look that's got like silver and stuff in it or purples. Maybe I'll do like a little bit of like a grayish moment. I'm going to take suede from my um, pin that palette of Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered and I'm just going to build this up kind of on the outer corner. So there's nothing like new or crazy that I want to start doing. It's things that are kind of always my goals. And some years I make more progress on them than others. Uh, this year I would like to focus more on Spanish than I did in the previous couple of years. Um, but I'm planning on taking some classes through my local community college. Hopefully my Spanish will improve because... Senior year of high school, Jasmine, was, I thought, in Spanish sometimes just because I was constantly practicing. My junior year of high school, I took a um, my AP exam and then I stopped taking Spanish classes because I ran out of Spanish classes to take and I stopped having people to practice with when I graduated high school because I TA'd for my favorite Spanish teacher my senior year and he made me speak in Spanish all the time which was so good for me but it was so frustrating when I wanted to say something that was super simple to say in Spanish but it was in a, like a weird or in English but it was a weird conjugation and I had to sit there and think about it for like five minutes but he was so patient and also so stubborn about that so thank you um, to that teacher because it really did make me better at Spanish and once I stopped being around him all the time um, my Spanish quickly declined <laughs> so he, he, it's like he knows what he's doing teaching this language um, so that's another goal but there's nothing drastic and I think that that's kind of the key for me um, last year I did the 50 book challenge and I did NaNoWriMo and this year I would like to continue reading um, but 
I'm not going to set like a I'm not going to set like, oh, well, I read 39 books last year, so I want to read 45 books this year. I'm just, I'm just enjoying reading, and I would like to finish the book that I started in NaNoWriMo. Sorry, I was completely covering my eyes. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Stila liquid liner just along my lash line, and then some mascara, and I will be right back. So as you may be able to tell, the eyeliner kind of got away from me, so I'm just going to mix the black and the gray and I'm just going to kind of brush maybe with a smaller brush just kind of blur out that edge just to try and make it look on purpose which is my entire goal with eyeshadow usually just make it look like it was on purpose it's fine and blend it in with the rest of the eye look. See, that I think looks a little bit better. When my eyes open, it looks like it's a part of the rest of the eye look rather than this weird, janky crooked eyeliner. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in with tempura, or no, it's called Fresh, from my Sultry palette and just get the edge just a little bit Okay, there we go. That's gonna be good enough. And then, because it's just in front of me, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter from my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked and do highlighter and inner corner. And then I'm thinking, I have an idea. I'm gonna try my NARS lipstick in the shade da Damage, Damage. Yeah, I think that brings a little bit of color to my face that my face is in need of. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush and just and a big fluffy brush just a little bit and just do like brush the edge just to bring a little bit of warmth to the eyes okay I think that worked perfectly okay we've got a full face all done I'm gonna put in my earrings and that is really everything that I'm gonna do to get ready today um, I have been trying to do a balance of my Pan That palette and my Pan Those eyeshadows like I did today, wearing a mixture, um, but it's definitely, you know, hard to see progress when you're splitting your attention, so hopefully in February I'll see some good progress doing my makeup every day. And most importantly, if you enjoyed today's video, please let me know what you think down below of this look. Um, please stick around, like, comment, subscribe, all of those wonderful things. And most of all, I hope you're having an incredible, awesome day wherever you are and that I get to see you in a future video. Thanks, guys.